Marvel Studios' Loki is finally here on Disney+, Plus, and I got to talk to the director, Kate Heron. Take a look. So hi, Kate. Great to talk to you today. Hey, no, thanks for having me. How did you get to be involved with Loki and, and what drew you into that character? I guess what drew me into the character was, I suppose like everyone, right? Like I saw Thor and I, I completely was like fascinated with, you know, the character and Tom's performance. And I'm always kind of drawn, I think, to kind of outsiders. And I, I, I also love villains. Like I think that you don't necessarily have to agree with what they're doing, but you have to understand why they're doing it. And I think Tom brought such empathy from Thor. He's gone on this incredible journey and become, you know, like almost like an anti-hero really, like across those, like those films. And I found obviously they were making a TV show and I love Marvel. Like I used to, I think my first thing I fell in love with with Marvel was the X-Men cartoon. And I just have always, you know, been like, oh, I'd love to work on a Marvel project. And Loki's like my favorite. I just basically asked my agent. I was like, look, I know I've only done like a teen uh, comedy drama, but just just see, just see, call them up and just see. And I, I'd love to speak with them. So they met with me and they sent me like Michael's first script, which was fantastic. And I just kind of went big with it. I was just like, I'm going to give them like a full download of everything I'm excited by in the writing and also just where I'm excited where we could take the story. And they liked what I brought to them, so here I am. <laughs> oh, that's so great. And as a 90s cartoon fan, I appreciate the X-Men drop, though. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, but I was actually gonna ask you about that, about how you bring your voice into the series, into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, because it has a timeline of its own. So how did you have that balance between what's been set and how to bring your voice into I it? Think, I think for me, like, even just stylistically, it was quite different what I was pitching them because, you know, there's a mystery running through our show and I was really inspired by like film noir and detective stories. And I was like, oh, it'd be so cool to kind of bring that look to it. And how do we make this feel like a new part of Marvel? Because obviously they've done so much already. And I think it was a real challenge in doing that, which was very exciting to me. Now you have a background in filmmaking, but also in comedy. And so I would just love to know what brought you to both of those things? What, what, what made you fall in love with filmmaking and with comedy? I, I think for me, comedy in a weird way, I was quite, I've, I, I'm quite shy. And I think it, and my writing partner's a comedian. And I think I just kept, I was like, you know, I'm just, I wanted to make comedies and I needed to meet comedians. So I just started doing like improv comedy, honestly, as a way to meet comedians. And it really put me outside my comfort zone. And then filmmaking, I actually came to quite late, to be honest. I, I love movies and I, I love going to the cinema with my friends. And I think in my head, I was like, oh, I'll be an actor. But I never really knew what directing was, to be honest, or like as a job. And I had amazing teachers when I was mm, around 17, 18. And they just kind of opened my mind up to what cinema can be. And they introduced me to, you know, like just the greats. I think I didn't realize you could have a voice and make a film, which I know sounds silly, but I just hadn't really thought about it in that way. And I love storytelling and I felt like it was kind of a job where I could take all these things I love and put them in one place. Were there uh, any challenges that you faced with putting this series together, whether it was just the pressure of making it or just the actual process of putting it all together? I suppose as a challenge in a sense that you know, we filmed this like a six hour movie. We weren't filming episode by episode. Marvel wanted to run it like a film in the sense that normally with television, obviously you do like the showrunner system and it's very different. And this was like a very big undertaking. So I think for me, the challenge was, you know, like doing a good job and wanting to take care of Loki, the character, because he's very beloved. What did you expect? Would you have any advice for any aspiring filmmakers? I had this thing where when I graduated, I didn't film anything straight away. And I think part of it was confidence because I was like, oh, I have to be like perfect at this job before I can actually do it. And I would say just like throw yourselves into the fire and just go and make something. Don't wait for things to be perfect or a giant budget. Just go make something. Well, this, this series, everything I've seen so far has looked amazing. I appreciate all the work that you've put into it, directing it. So thank you so much. And it was so great to talk to you today. This was so wonderful. No, it was fun. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, that was so cool to talk to Kate Heron. Marvel Studios' Loki is now streaming on Disney+.